<laughs> so anyway, Doc Green, we're going to try to grab a couple more interviews over here. Got one of my favorite people talking with uh, Tom Jefferson. How you doing, Doc? As he's known. We're going to yep. leave it at Tom Jefferson? Yes, we can go with that today. You know, it depends on uh, which day we're talking about. But today we'll go with Tom. <laughs> All right. Right here, I don't know if Pedro can get the shot, but that is the tree that you were under, that I was standing there videoing you, having your rights stolen by Region 7 DPS, by yeah. Captain Rolando Rivas, among others, about what, a year and a half ago? Yeah, just about, about a year and a half ago. One of the many that's been arrested here, that, that day there was two of us arrested, me and Justin Delos, but, but for sure it was a quite the event to see uh, you know, Texans not break any laws to have their rights so forcibly taken away from them. Well, you can find that video uh, on my channel at YouTube, but you were s sitting under the tree. Absolutely, I was sitting at a, at a rally similar to what we're having similar today. Similar to what we're having today. Just, just listen to the guest speakers and uh, the officers uh, surrounded me, and uh, about nine of them, as I recall. Yeah, and you know they were telling me to leave, and I, you know, I, I wasn't paying any attention to them. I was exercising one of my rights, uh, the fifth, I believe, on that one. <laughs> but. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was exercising my right, just being peaceful, sitting there, trying to enjoy the afternoon here at the Capitol, listening to some great uh, speakers lined up, talking about the Constitution. Meanwhile, as we're trying to support the Constitution, uh, they they tackle me as I'm sitting on the ground, being peaceful, break my ribs, and kidnap me. And then, uh, you know, a year and a half later, still refused to take me to court over it. Won't see me to court, and they finally, after about ten dates of having a court, which they just reset back and back and back, causing me miss work so many times. They finally just dropped it because they did not want to face me in court even though now I'm left with over thirty thousand dollars in medical bills my uh, you had to pay to get out of jail they did, denied me a bond I had a, uh, a PR bond they had to pay a lot of money to get out and missed a lot of work in the meantime and you know, I'm in a, a, a big financial hardship let alone with my injuries for them stripping my rights away for doing absolutely nothing nothing than what we're doing right now well once again, you were carrying at the time a black powder pistol, which if you read the Texas Penal Code is declared not to be a weapon. It's an antique relic. It's more or less a paperweight, you know. It's Yes, and uh, but they've decided they're going to call it an explosive device. An explosive device that I mind you had no black powder in it. Yes, so once again Here's my buddy Tom sitting under a tree, and you guys can find this video. He's sitting under the tree. He's not talking to anyone. Next he's to not, a cannon, by the way. Yeah, next to a real cannon. He's not making any noise. He's not making any kind of a scene. And all of a sudden, all, all of these DPS troopers roll up on you and deprive you of your civil rights, mm -hmm. physically attack you, and ultimately drag you off. Absolutely. And put you into an unmarked car and drive you away. Now, that looked like a kidnapping to me. Oh, you know, it was. They, they, they kept me locked up in Travis County Jail, named after the man that drew the line in the sand saying, you know, liberty or death, come and take it, and held his ground. They locked me up in the jail named after that guy for doing basically the same thing that I did. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just ironic. They held me in there for over 12 hours. They denied me any medical attention as I'm sitting there suffering in solitary with broken ribs, denied me medical attention. Then I have to uh, pay my lawyer fees and the bond to get out of there and then try to get to a hospital to get checked out and make sure I don't have any internal bleeding. Yeah, they would not. Uh, they would not take you to the infirmary, even though they knew you were injured in the arrest. Absolutely. Or the kidnapping, as we should probably right. aptly call it. So, where do you see this going? We are here today. It's the second day of a three-day event that we're we're working on here, mm -hmm. and. Where do you see this going? Are we going to have liberty in Texas, or is Texas going to become another communist country? Well, it's a fight for sure, and it's a fight that we need to be on the front line of. We need everybody involved to keep pushing and, and to, to fight this fight because they are definitely infringing on our inalienable rights, one after another, getting them stripped away. And it's absolutely disgusting to see 
people fall asleep as our rights are being stripped away. They need to unplug the TV and kind of tune into reality and, and fight for these rights because when you fall asleep, that's when these pages start getting ripped out of books and then the laws start getting, the law books get bigger and bigger and bigger with laws. There's not a law on the book that grants you a right, they only restrict your rights. So we, we need to take charge of this, repeal these laws, fight fight these uh, the, these laws that they're trying to uh, infringe on us on them. I mean, it's, it's, it's not right. It's not freedom. It's not freedom and it's not liberty because every man has the right to defend himself. It's a God-given right and no man has the right to take that away from you. I appreciate you being in the fighty. Thank you, Thank Don. Thank you very Thank you much, for what you do. Thanks for your voice on the radio. You're welcome. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate it.